And today we are gonna be painting a 10 foot John boat. We got the 10 foot John sitting here. I've already leak tested it. Fields, I think I had three total holes that were just little pinholes that I brazed with aluminum and I got them all fixed. So there's no leaks. I got all the rivets fixed. It's structurally sound. It's pretty much ready. I'm gonna build a floating deck off of our custom trolling motor mount that we've got right here built out of the seat. And I'll probably thin down these edges, but right here is what we're gonna be going with for the paint. This is aluminum boat paint that I got off Amazon. It's a quart. It covers about 80 to 100 square foot. And I think it was about $80 or somewhere around in that range. So under a hundred bucks. And hopefully this is gonna cover all of this boat. But if you need to find out your measure, measurements for a boat and coverage, just basically link times width. Times that and you come up with your square footage. So we got that and we're gonna be putting it through. Oh, and this is water-based. So we don't have to worry about cleaning out really, we just use water. So it's basically like house paint. And I'm gonna be using a new sprayer that I've never used before. This is a Wagner Flex. And this thing I got from Home Depot. I do it for cabinets. I use these, I've seen people use these. I've never actually used it. But this thing should lay down a good flat spray pattern for this thing if we thin it down with that paint just a little bit. And it has a 45 quart little jug here. Usually I use HVLP like automotive type guns that are gravity fed that sit up on top. But this one, we'll see how it does. I'm, I'm hoping it does pretty good. And then for the sanding, we've got an orbital Ryobi sander and we've got some 60 grit. Look at how coarse that is. So whenever you do with this course, we could go with 100 or 150, 200. But with this one, you gotta be careful because it can get down to that aluminum pretty quick, but it, it'll get that, that surface paint off really fast. So that's one good thing about these. And we got a wire brush. So these wire brushes really can, can get down to the aluminum pretty quick too. But we're gonna be painting, if you see right there, down that corner edge and everything on the sides and then on these fronts of these seats and the top seats and then of course the gunnel and then we're going to flip the boat over after we get that and we're going to paint all the underside so hopefully we cover this thing all the way with just one quart because i got two quarts but the other quart is white and this one is earth brown as you see right there so hopefully this thing covers this whole boat so let's get to sanding We are all sanded down on the bottom side and on the underside. So all we gotta do is blow down this garage. I'm gonna pick this up, move it out of here and put some plastic down so I don't paint my floor. And I'm basically gonna set the boat back up like that. But if you look at this thing, I sanded it down real good. And around those rivets, I got it with the wire brush. So it's really gonna pop into the cracks of that. So if we did have any extra leaks, it's gonna go into those edges. But one thing that I did figure out that I'm probably gonna do, I think I'm gonna put a light coat on the top, but I think I'm gonna put a epoxy bottom to seal that so it's kind of like a, they use for airboats. So that might be something else I do, but look at those rivets. I mean, they look shiny, shiny. 
We got it all cleaned up. All the edges, everything is touched up all the way down through this boat. So this thing is ready for a coat of paint. The boat is all sanded down now. So now what we need to do is we need to come in here with some lacquer thinner or some kind of solvent and clean off any of the oils or anything that are on this boat. So I'm gonna wipe down some of the oils that are on this surface and see if I can get some of the dust off. And then basically it's time to mix up our paint and start laying it down on this boat and see how it does. Okay, we got our paint here and I've mixed it up quite a bit, just shaking it like this for about a minute to kind of mix up the heavies and the, the lights inside of it. Got our paper towels here. So I think all of this is probably going to fit inside of this, this can. Oh yeah, plenty. I think I'm going to water this down just a little bit. It looks a little thick for me. Get some of this last bit of paint out. Thinning it down. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Just painting. Well, I've got the boat flipped over, it's been drying, but the paint has been running. So on this underside, it kind of ran on me a little bit. So I'm gonna have to do some really light sanding. I've got some 600 grit, but as you see right here, I didn't get all the way up under there. And so since I ran out of brown, I'm thinking that I'll run a tape line right along that edge right there and go all the way around the whole boat and paint this underside white. So we are totally changing the scheme of this boat, the paint scheme. Well, I got my tape line on the boat and I got some of these areas that were actually dripping, uh, knocked down with some 220 and I taped off the back of the boat. So just along the edge on the inside, that way I can basically fill this edge if there's any cracks that come up in here. But it doesn't look too bad. It's all ready for paint now, so I'm gonna mix up that white and get the paint on this thing. I mean, look at this finish. No runs, and it is on there thick. So the reason that it ran on me before was that the angle where it was sitting was like straight up and down. So now that it's kind of sitting more level with more of an angle, this thing is looking good. So I'm gonna pull the tape off here pretty soon. I got the fan on it, just kind of hopefully taking down some of the curing time of this paint drying. And I'm gonna pull this tape off while it's still just a little bit wet. And I think it's gonna come off perfect with a good edge. So I just gotta wait. If you see, it's coming over that edge just a little bit. So it's on there thick, thick. All right, it's starting to dry out a little bit, but it's still wet down the sides. So I am gonna see I can pull this tape line since it's starting to set up. Oh man, that looks sweet. That's a good line. Went through just a little bit right there, but it's gonna be all right. Okay, 
guys, here is the finished product. I mean, this thing looks sweet out here with the taped off edges and that brown and white. I don't see very many paint jobs that look like this one, but I definitely like it. I already know the inside with that brown's gonna look good. This thing has a good gloss finish on it. I really like the way that it turned out. Well guys, this boat actually turned out pretty nice. My sir and I expected, but I did not plan to be painting it white. I thought it was gonna all be brown, but you know, actually that color scheme isn't too bad and I, I kind of like it. I'm still gonna put the epoxy finish on the bottom and make it slick, more like an airboat or a mud boat for this thing. So hopefully this thing's gonna go just about anywhere. But let me know if you guys have any ideas for this thing or maybe a name of it i have no idea i've got lots of ideas carpeting and deck and all that stuff going in this thing but thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one